Float it off of the ground tonight The way you look at me just like I'm yours Yeah, I never felt like this before You make me feel the way I ain't feel in a minute I feel like I'm living when I'm looking at you, baby Never felt like this before You gave me butterflies in my tummy like you I literally was gonna quit a month before I met you. So imagine if I actually wanted to quit then, I wouldn't have met you. Yeah, so you can't tell yourself that? Really? That's what I'm saying, I'm trying to tell myself that. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're mean. I don't know, probably something like... Uh, maybe like save your money more or something. I feel like... I mean, I guess I was saving my money at the time, but then I continued to keep that going. Babe, you were balling once upon a time. I was balling I when I was that happened. age because I was like, I was working <laughs> since I was a sophomore, so think about it, I was saving all my money, but then after that, I felt like I was a little careless, that's how it is when you get money too, so I mean, you weren't spending it like crazy though, but tell them, tell them how much money you saved like in a month, remember, remember when you went to sit down with my sister at Wells Fargo and then you saved how much money? <laughs> hey, because at the time, it was a... Uh, at the time, it was kind of like weird to see people make money because barbers were making really good money compared to most people. There was no respect in, in barbers at that time, remember? A lot of people weren't really like, like taking you, you guys serious. Yeah. But think about it, if you if I was charging like 20 bucks and you did two in an hour, that was $40 an hour, technically. Yeah. $40 an hour and then I was working like crazy ass hours. You didn't know how many hours I worked until you married me and we were living together. Well, no, I mean, I knew. It's just... You didn't I wouldn't it. talk to you. Yeah, I wouldn't see it, but I wouldn't talk to you until like 11 p.m. Yeah, sometimes. I know. But I don't know. I forgot how much money was there at one point when I was there with your sister. It was a lot. She was like... She approved after that, huh? She was like, okay, he's gonna the take wine. me somewhere. <laughs> but That's probably what I would tell myself to keep it. And by the way, guys, I was never into like luxury and designer until I met Ulysses. I fucked he, up. That's he, probably what I should have told myself. He I give you the, to me. <laughs> then I gave you the first Louis Vuitton bag. He bought me my very first luxury bag. And on top of that, guys, he didn't even get me like started late. Hey, like, that was a $10 like, I would have appreciated, right I would have appreciated like, you know, anything designer like Kate Spade, like Michael Kors was really popular at the time. Coach. Um, Coach was really popular. Like I never owned designer. I only owned, Tory Burch. you know, Tor yeah, Tory Burch. Like, like all those are are designer items, but a little bit like less expensive than like you know other luxury items. Lisa's well, jumped me straight to Louis Vuitton, you know. So I was I had high expectations after that. <laughs> yeah, nah, not high expectations, but it gets harder, you know. So he couldn't outdo himself. So after guys, that one. yeah, just don't get them anything. Designer, <laughs> why even go there? I'm never gonna get them forget used that. To the bad life. I'm dead. So, in case you guys did not know, guys, oh, so we're at our we're at our new house, and um, we're going to share with you guys the little process that's going on outside of the house. Oh, excuse me. And what's happening? Well, we'll show you some stuff from like the other day, where we were like prepping the house and getting it ready um my dad's here like we told you guys so him and my brother have been prepping the house so then it's getting painted and uh we're gonna show you guys like some before and after clips of like him getting everything ready and then him actually painting it but it looks so good right now yeah wow. it's we we're just gotta paint that yeah so the house on the outside our house on the outside is um was originally like this pink 
color it's like a nude like pink. a nudie pink color with brown so it definitely made the house look a lot older because the house it's like those colors that don't stand house. out they don't stand out yeah. yeah so remember i mentioned to you guys that i love how the house is such a homey feel and some of you guys were asking me if we were going to share with you guys when we did our tour the outside of the house and we actually are going to be sharing with you guys the property like what the property looks like our front yard our backyard the house itself um because it gives you a very homey feel like like you're outside of, you're in front of the house and you think of like home yeah you know it feels so homey so we it's its own thing like it, you don't feel like you have neighbors and like that yeah so um we are painting it black and white white and black white and black oh white with black um so yeah black accents and white you know I'm face. excited. So, and yeah. max wants his chicken nuggets so <laughs> let's go to show you guys what the process is Probably the last time you guys are going to see the house this color. My dad's about to get down. Just finished prepping it with like silicone and sealing a couple of things. You guys can see like the white stuff right there. And this is house a little older. I actually did the roof wrong here. We're going to fix it later. But you can see like when it, when it rains. Kind of goes into the actual wood, which sucks because they were supposed to actually do this roof here, like at least like a half inch out. Um, that way the water doesn't go in there. But we're probably gonna just do um, something to it to where it protects it. But Blanca's excited. Okay, so you guys can see the. This is. I don't even know how to explain it to you guys, but this is um, not our main house. <laughs> Okay, me revealing that I have more than one house, huh? <laughs> this isn't the main house. Um, and they're painting this one first. We have some rock right down here that we need to um, stain. We're gonna stain it. I'm not sure if I wanna do like a light gray, a white or a black yet, or like a charcoal. Um, we're just kind of basing it off once we see what the house looks like based on the rock. We might take it off. We haven't decided, so that's gonna be like something you guys later on but if we do decide to take it off then all of it is going to be just like straight white um and then obviously there you guys saw this part so this is what the house looked like before it was kind of like this pinky color with white and now it's going to be white with black the house is going to look like this um this is the other house we have no i'm kidding <laughs> this is the garage they're going to the garage and the gym. Let me show you guys what the gym looks like. Um, it's not done yet, so I'm not gonna give you guys like a little run around yet, but this is the door that they're gonna replace and that's what the gym looks like. So once that, once that door is replaced, I almost fell. <laughs> once that door is replaced, they're go it's gonna be like clear glass and then we have the garage doors. And then all of this is going to have, um, we're putting stone here, not stone. So in here we're going to put stone. It's going to be like a charcoal stone and it's going to go all the way to the bottom. And then all of this is going to get stained to match this floor here because this is what the original flooring looked like, which obviously looks really old. Um, and then all of this is going to, we get landscaping in a couple of weeks. Um, this is going to be like the last part because it's obviously going to start getting cold. So we're going to replace all of the landscaping. We're going to put a bunch of like, I forgot what the contractor told us that it was called. But it's like this really nice setup that a lot of the houses out here have. So this is going to be like going around here. And yeah. This is what I'm excited because you guys are seeing the before. So you guys are going to be able to see once the reveal is like before and after. Like this is what it looked like before and this is what it's gonna look like after because um, We're going for a very modern feel inside, but still it's we're going for basically like modern farmhouse So if you guys search that up, that's the vibe we're going for um, still very homey, but obviously modern and um, Like I told you guys the ki the kids and I love these panels like they're super cool because we're gonna stain them like a lighter wood So they're gonna be white and then like a lighter wood and they're gonna match like the floor and stuff. So let me show you guys where Ulises is at. It's my dad right there on top of the world. Saluda pues. Saluda Julian. That's not his name. Como está el jale? Pesado. Pesado? <laughs> Easy job. Piece of cake. I love the palm trees back here. 
And then we have some of these as well, which are dope. A lot of greenery. But let's get back to the work. So they're removing all the tile in the kitchen and all the tile of the of the rooms that had it. Um, a lot, a lot of demolition, guys. A lot of work going on with that. But all the problems that a house has when you're remodeling because you're not knocking the whole house down and doing a new construction you're actually breaking it up fixing it and then putting new stuff on it so you start to see all the problems but thankfully we haven't run into anything crazy um but i mean i love the difference of being able to remodel a house and seeing how it looks like you guys have no idea how good everything is already starting to look i mean even the outside here like look, just even just doing the black with the white it looks so much better these are the lights that we got. They're the flood light reflectors. The cool thing is that these are really cheap. They're only like six bucks and they make a huge difference in your in your yard. So you guys want to check that out. Okay, so I'm not sure if Lisa showed you guys the process, but we are building and painting this whole area. It's gonna be black. All of these detailing here, like the red color that you guys see around the house, is all going to be white. Um so we're basically going to we just finished doing this one so this is all black and white we did a black fan here and then we have to fix this whole little area but we're basically going to create a, we're gonna put the tv up there like it already was and then we're thinking if we might be doing an electrical fireplace or just cabinets these cabinets are old obviously but they're actually refrigerators and freezers which i thought were pretty cool so maybe we can do something like that we do have a place to cook and stuff and then all this is coming off. We're gonna be putting black stone there. Um, there's Lisa's. So as you guys can see, all the flooring removed, all the floor, all the floor, all this this whole wall is getting removed, taken down. All of this is getting removed. All the floor. All of my bathrooms look like this right now. And all the floor looks like this right now. So the bathrooms are all broken out, broken apart. And we're gonna start installing the wood, paint, all that good stuff. Are you excited, babe? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of like a tour, I guess a little mini tour. I wanted to really show them what they look like right now. Oh yeah. Because they need to see that after, you know, like yeah. the, like dang, like y'all really transformed that fucking yeah. house. It's cool that like I'm glad that we did remodel it because then you get to see what's in your house and like what's needed. Yeah, like we've been having to like replace walls. Like we've been having to like obviously this house is an older house, um, so we had a lot of things that needed to get replaced. But the big thing for this house was the property it sits on that's the that's where the bucks are like that's the main thing the property out here is like so amazing and we're just remodeling and literally umping the value of this home and i like you guys are not ready and i'm so freaking excited for you guys to see the transformation happen yes yes so this is just a part one of the remodeling and update the next few videos you guys are going to be seeing like the installing of the floors and the paint and all that good stuff so you guys can start seeing what we're doing. Le va a tener que dar dos manos? ¿De negra o no más una? So we just got home guys and Max is opening up a gift that my suegra forgot to give him. So he's opening that right now. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I definitely tried to show you guys as much as I could that has been done already. A lot of the house on the inside is honestly completely destroyed right now with no bathrooms or anything like that. But I'm super excited for the progress. We've been doing this for two weeks now and have done a lot of demolition work once we start knocking down like the walls and start just 
So as soon as um, we start getting more um, stuff done, I will update you guys. I'm going to be vlogging and you guys are going to be seeing a lot of house stuff. So bear with me. Don't get tired of me sharing with you guys what I'm doing because I'm vlogging. But I'm also in the middle of like uh, rem remodeling my house. So a lot of the footage is going to be me going to the property. Camila in the back. Camila! Camila! Stop screaming. Um, a lot of it is going to be obviously me going back and forth from the house and stuff. So I'm super excited for you guys to see the process. And I cannot wait to do the big reveal. As soon as rooms start being finished and we start going in there to bring furniture. You guys are going to start seeing on my channel the before and after videos where you guys see everything kind of coming together. But I'm just like anticipating the anticipating my like house tour and everything because um, we've been working really hard to just make sure that this house is perfect for us and the kids. So we're super excited. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you guys. I felt like this before uh, You make me feel the way I ain't feel in a minute I feel like I'm living when I'm looking at you, baby Never felt like this before